everybody, it's Mandy from Mandy Jean Chic. I wanted to show you guys what I bought from the MAC Metallic News Collection and the Punk Couture Collection. I also want to show you guys some of the stuff that I bought in the last couple weeks, just ads and end things. Um, one of them is something that I had to repurchase because I broke it. And then, um, yeah, just some stuff that I picked up. If I look squinty, I apologize. Um, my light is really bright right now, and I have, like, super duper duper sensitive eyes. So, you know, it's like <laughs> good quality or dark and my eyes don't hurt. Mm. But, I want, like I said, I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from the two new collections and then just some odds and ends things that I picked up. I also spent the gift card that Brett got me for Christmas. So, I want to show you guys the stuff that I bought. The first thing that I bought is, I'll show you the stuff that is not from the collections first, just to get those out of the way. The first thing I bought is a, is a, um, the first thing I bought is a blush in the color Warm Soul. And this is one of my favorite MAC blushes, like, ever. My friend Lynette had been trying to get me to buy this, oh, for, like, over a year. And I never did, because I was like, it doesn't look, like, super impressive in the package like what love joy and love thing do so i've always just kind of like skipped it over well when i was in there i, was, I needed to um i need to spend the rest of my gift card basically is what it was so i bought warm soul and it's just a really pretty metallic -y, you probably can't see it peach blush and it's really light it's really pretty for people like me who like blush but don't want to look like they're wearing a lot of blush Again, this is in Warm Soul. One of my favorite MAC blushes ever. I love their mineralized blushes. And then I have three more things to show you guys um, that are not from any of the collections. I bought two new paint pots because I wanted to try some new colors. And the first one I bought is in color Rubenesque. This is such a beautiful paint pot. I haven't even used it yet. I mean, how pretty is that? I love this color. It's kind of like a metallic peach. It's really pretty on. Um, I actually bought it to wear it as an eyeshadow because it's so pretty. This is Ruben S. Great here. It's just a really pretty kind of a gold peach. So, yeah. Bought that. And I haven't even worn it yet. It's just been kind of sitting around. Because I want to film my... I'm trying to film my haul videos before I start using products up. But some of these I've had to use because I'm like so excited. The next one I bought is in color Indian Wood, and it's just a really pretty, like, kind of a light bronze color. I love it, like, the first time you use a paint pot. It's just so creamy. It's such a great experience. It's a really pretty bronze color, and it's so pigmented. It is so beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I love those paint pots. I am a diehard MAC paint pot user. Um, they're the only things that don't really crease on me. Um, if I wear them for like eight hours, yeah, they crease just a teeny bit. But goodness gracious, I wore them for eight hours. I'm so excited today because it's like the day for the Winter Classic in hockey. I watched the um, alumni game between the Red Wings and the Maple Leafs. Oh, that's probably one of the greatest hockey games I have ever watched in my life because the Russian Five are back together. And it was just so cool to watch some of my favorite players growing up back. And, you know, Ozzy was there. So if you're a hockey fan, you totally know my love for this. If you're not a hockey fan, you're like, get back to the makeup. So <laughs> the last thing I bought that's not part of a collection is this eyeshadow in Star Violet. It's right here. I wanted kind of a pink metallic burgundy. And when I, I didn't even swatch in the store, I just saw it in there and I was like, oh, I like it. But it's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's still beautiful. It's kind of a pink, bronzy, metallic. So it's really pretty. I am um, trying to fill up my palette, so I only have five more to go. So when I get through this, what I'm planning on doing, and I told my friend, um, one of my friends in Australia this too, I will do a full video of all the colors that I have in here what ones I like. I don't have any I don't like, so. Um, and then how I organize it, because I will reorganize this, and I even have a free printable, because you guys know me, I'm like, I have to have stuff fairly organized. But that was the stuff that I bought that was not part of a collection. And then I went 
a little crazy for the metallic nude and the um, punk couture collection. I was not that impressed with the punk couture collection when I saw it online. And when I called my friend Lynette to tell her what I wanted, um, I didn't even pick out any lipsticks. I, w I just wasn't like in love with them. And then she even tried to talk me into Instigator, and I was like, no, it's too dark. Well, I'm wearing Instigator on my lips, and I like love it. So I'm so glad that I found it. But from the Metallic Nude Collection, which is the one that I was like in love with, I picked out two eyeshadows, a blush, a lipstick, <laughs> lipstick, and a lip gloss. The two eyeshadows I picked out are one I'm wearing today, and the one I'm wearing today is called Sweet Heat. And this is what it looks like. I have it with Mystery and Top Brown. But this is Sweet Heat. It is just a really pretty, super metallic-y. Um, it's one of the extra dimension eyeshadows, so it's got a lot of shimmer to it. It's really pretty. Um, can be a little hard to pick these colors up on your brush, is what I noticed this morning the swatch of it that's sweet heat just because you know they're they're so um finely milled and so pigmented and they're just so like luxurious feeling that my brush was even like having a hard time picking it up and like transferring it onto my eye it's kind of like with the frosted shadows and stuff i mean you have to work with them to get the the colors because there's some fallout these don't have terrible fallout in them considering they are super shimmery um but I, I love this color. It's called Sweet Heat. And the one that I was like the most excited to get is the one that I have not even worn yet, which is hysterical. And it's in the color Amorous Alloy. I wanted this because it looked like kind of a coppery um, metallic color. And I just was like in love with it online. So I had to buy that. And I'm like in love with it here. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? But I just haven't worn it yet. And these colors, they're so easy to blend. They're so beautiful. That dark one is uh, Amorous Alloy. I just love them. I think that they are stunning. So I, I love these. The two shadows. Um, the other shadows I just was not super duper in love with. I thought these looked different than any other MAC shadows that I have. So that's why I got them. These are $20, so they are more expensive than the... Uh, the pro eyeshadows and then the refill pans but they're really pretty and i don't think for people who depot i don't think you can depot these because i don't know if my camera's going to pick it up i don't think they have a pan i think that they're kind of baked in so i don't think you can depot them but you know someone on youtube is going to prove me wrong so now the blush that i got i'm not in is in love with is what i was online and i got it in the color auto erotic and again, it's one of the extra dimension blushes. Beautiful in the pan. Gorgeous. Shimmery. Beautiful. The pigmentation on your finger is beautiful. When you swatch it with your finger, it's, it's light, but it's really pretty. But when you go to dip your brush in the actual product, it doesn't transfer as well. Um, it's very, very, very subtle. It's beautiful blush, um, but you do have to build it up. I like it. I don't love it. I wouldn't buy this one again, but I'm glad I have it. So I know I just gave something for Mac a e review, so be proud of me. See, I tell you guys the truth. But it's it's nice, but it just doesn't have. I have drugstore brushes blushes that have better pigmentation than this, but it's still pretty and it's a beautiful soft pink color. I actually have it on, and you barely can tell that I have it on. One, because I like overdosed in Soft and Gentle. <laughs> I did. And I have on a little bit of bronzer today, but I'm trying to finish up this foundation that I like despise. And I am keep using it and keep using it. I will get it used up, but I still don't like it. It's by CoverGirl. I'll show it to you guys um, in my end of the year fail video. I'm going to film a, like a best of beauty today and then an end of the year not so great video. I wish I would have kept... Some of my empties, and I didn't even think about it. So this year I'm going to keep empties that I'm not in love with. This is my bra. It is my bra. So out of the metallic collection, I bought, or not metallic collection, out of the nude collection, I bought two lip products, a lipstick and a lip gloss. These are not nude. 
These are like the deepest colors that they had. I was not in love with the nude lipsticks. I tried them on and they just didn't look good on me. But the first one I bought is in Carnal Instinct. It's a beautiful deep color. I'm like obsessed with this color. It has gold flecks in it. So it is just stunning. Isn't that pretty? This one, when I checked this morning, was still available online. So you may want to, if you're interested in it, you may want to pick it up. Um, some of this stuff is sold out. I know, like, the whole Punk Couture collection is sold out. So you'd have to check your Mac stores. Um, they are in the counters and the actual stores. Now, my favorite thing, I think, out of everything I bought from the nude collection is this lip glass. And it's in the color Hellbound. It's really pretty. Again, it's like that deep burgundy with a little bit of gold and it looks so beautiful over carnal instinct oh mac did a good job with this one i love these they're so pretty so yeah i had to get that one had to like you know someone had a gun to my head and was like you must buy these i just have no self-control so yeah i got those that was everything from the nude collection and i liked it um i like the eyeshadows the I didn't buy any of the skin finishes just because I'm like a die hard soft and gentle fan and I don't wear like deeper highlights very much so I just thought it would not be a good I, I just knew I wouldn't use it as much so that's why I kind of skipped out on them um I think they're beautiful if you're a highlight girl or you or you can even use them as an eyeshadow um I liked them, but I just, I knew they weren't for me, so that's why I didn't buy any. But I did buy two lipsticks from the Pump Couture collection. Was not impressed with the pigments, was not impressed with the nail polish colors. Um, I just didn't care for them. But I actually had no intentions of buying these two. What actually happened was I went into the Mac store in the Cottonwood Mall, and my friend Cherie was wearing Instigator. So I had to have it. And then I also bought the Gal who does my brows, Ariana, who I adore, studded kiss. And then when I saw it on her, I had to, like, call the Mac store and be like, do you have any more of those left? Like, you know, a junkie. But Instigator is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a really deep, 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 deep plum color. I mean, it's deeper than Rebel by a lot. And it's a matte. But my friend Ariana, who has never tried a matte MAC lipstick before... Um, before she did my brows, she put her studded kiss on, and she was amazed, like, how creamy they were for a matte lipstick. So, they, I mean, they are. For someone who's never used them before, she was, like, in love with it. But that is Instigator. See how it's, um, really deep? And it gets deep on the, it gets deep on the lip, too. So, the last one I bought, again, is one that I, that I purchased, and then I saw my, for my friend Ariana, who does my brows, and she put it on, and I was like, I need that. So I had to go back and get one for me. And it's in color Studded Kiss. I love this color. After I bought it, I was like, I wonder how close it is to Viva Glam 1. But I haven't even checked. But that is uh, Studded Kiss. Aren't those beautiful? I just, I love MAC lipsticks. They're my all-time favorite. I'm going to get Rebel and Viva Glam 1, and we'll see how close these are to them. Okay, Rebel is a satin, and Instigator is a matte. And here are the two side by side. You can see Instigator is a lot deeper. Okay, this is Instigator from the Punk Collection, and then this is Rebel. You can see Rebel is a lot lighter, um, a lot more berry colored. So if you thought when you looked at it that it was similar to Rebel, it's not. It's a different finish. It's a different, it's a different color. I mean, kind of same berry color family, but Instigator is definitely a lot deeper. If you own Rebel and you want to darken it up, if say you can't find Instigator, I would find like some of the deeper MAC lip liners and line your lips with it. Because if I use Rebel with my Vino lip liner, it's definitely a lot deeper. Not this deep, but it's definitely deeper. Okay, I'm going to show you guys three lipsticks um, that are similar to Studded Kiss. And these are, are fairly similar. So if you can't get Studded Kiss, you may want to try these. But this is Studded Kiss, Viva Glam 1, and then this is Dare You. Viva Glam 1 and Studded Kiss are both mattes. Yeah, they're both mattes. 
But Studded Kiss versus Dare You. Dare You is a cream sheen, so it's creamier. And it has a little bit of a glossier finish. I'm, like, obsessive about putting things back in the packages when I'm done. Like, I keep most of my boxes because I think that things store nicer in them. I know. It's sick, isn't it? Okay, so this is the swatches. This is Studded Kiss, Viva Glam 1, and Dare You. You can see they're all very similar. Um, Studded Kiss is a little bit more, is a little bit deeper, where Viva Glam 1 is a little bit brighter. And Dare You is just a little bit of a different sheen, but it's, they're fairly... So that is some options if you cannot find Studded Kiss and Instigator. You know, just to give you guys some ideas, because they are beautiful colors. If you can get them, I totally suggest you get them. But if you can't, I mean, the, these are some options. Gah! No one calls me until I get on, until I start filming a video. Anyways, did you guys pick up anything from these two new collections? I was pleasantly surprised by the um, the Punk Collection by MAC because I was not as impressed with it online. So it is definitely more impressive in person. Um, out of like all the things that I bought, I think my favorites are the lipsticks because you guys know I'm a lipstick junkie. So yeah, what did you guys get? Did you guys get anything from these? But if you enjoyed my MAC haul, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!